Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, review, and sort of a comparison, I guess, for the Bakugan Armored Alliance Baku clip. Um, this one I have here is the Pyrus Darkest version, um, as you can see. So here I have the, um, the original series Baku clip, and you can see it's quite a bit smaller, but that kind of makes sense because these Bakugan were smaller, and this is a completely different design. Um, here you can pause to see the box. You can see it comes with Darkest Pyrus uh, Garganoid Webam, which is pretty cool. Um, here's the back of the box. I've never seen these at like normal retail, like Target or Walmart, but I, I got it at TJ Maxx, so maybe you'll have luck at stores like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, I guess just let's open this. Uh, all right, so here it is open. Um, I guess first I can take a look at the card included. This is, of course, a Fusion Bakugan, so it comes with a Fusion character card with nice art. Um, unfortunately, you can see it's a little bit bent. That's unfortunate. Um, you can see Pyrus, Garganoid here, and Darkest Webam. Um, 500, 2, double red fist, so not great. Um, plus 300 B power on red fist, so you can get up to... Um, let's see, 1,050, which is not great, but I guess that's not terrible, terrible. Um, five energy for fusion. Um, for, so for five energy, you get this, 908 plus 600 on red fist, so you can get up to, on a red fist, you can get up to um, 1,750, which I guess is better, but for five energy, I don't know if that's worth it. Um, now let's take a look at the actual clip. Um, so it comes with a sort of, well, this is a clip. This is a ba the Baku clip. Huh. Um, so I guess the idea with the clip is you can sort of put it on here and then you attach this to something like a belt or a strap or anything like that. Um, and here's the Baku clip. This you could probably attach to a belt too. Um, I know on the box it says you put cards back here, but I wouldn't do that because that might damage the cards. Um, but I guess it's an option. To open, there's this little tab here, you can see. And you just kind of take the red piece and you pull up on it and it releases. Um, here are the corners. Let's take a look at these first, I guess. and a plus five red fist and a plus three plus four for fusion. So plus seven for any fusion, I guess. Um, you can see here's what the clip looks like. You can see you can put Bakugan there. Here's the webam, uh, or Garganoid webam, and you can, it's just in this plastic, so you can just, yeah, come on. go and here it is um, you can see the the Pyrus logo right there and the darkest whoops the excuse me the darkest logo or um, symbol right there which is pretty cool um and you can see the paint and the plastic. It's red plastic. And you can see green paint, purple, green paint, and uh, orange paint, which is like a Pyrus Bakugan, of course. And then um, 
black and purple from Darkest. Or I guess green is also in Darkest too, so yeah. Um, so, come on, let's see if it could focus, yep. Um, so you roll it this way. So, let's roll it out, and here it is. You can see it's quite tall, it grabs the cores like that. Um, and then you take the arms back here and you can fold them out, like so. Um, I think this design is kind of cool, but it also looks a little weird, if I'm being honest. Um, you can see arms are kind of stubby. Um, these are, I guess, the feet. Um, they don't look too great in my opinion, but they're okay. Um, it's pretty tall. You can see the head. I like the head. The head sculpting's nice. Um, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. And the wings look kind of nice. They look like big shoulder pads, though, to me. Um, you can see the back is bright orange with, like, a black sort of tail. Or I guess it'd be, like, the part of the spider, maybe. Um, yeah. Um, what's cool is these feet just fold out on their own. They're spring-loaded. Um, so, of course, to fold up, fold up the arms fold up the head, or fold up the legs, and then grab this part, fold up the head, and fold up the wings, and push down. And so, let's see, to use the clip, you can just open this. You can put cores right down here. You can stack a bunch of them. Let's see how many it can hold. Uh, let's just grab some cores. Put them in like that. Um, you can probably fit a bunch of them, to be honest, but... So I'm not going to try to see how many it can fit, but that's at least... That right there is, um... Seven cores, so it can at least fit enough for a full game. Which, you know, you need six cores, so that's nice. Um, and then to load the Bakugan in, you can just put... Some... In... The holes like that. And then you close it. And they stand there pretty nicely. You can see they don't want to fall out or anything. Um, the clip works pretty well. Um, you can shake it around. Nothing, nothing comes loose. So it's quite a different design than the old clip. You can see the old clip just holds three Bakugan like this. And it didn't open. You just sort of fit them in like that. Um, and it had this little belt thing. Um, this is a lot simpler. This is more complex. Um, and I think there are positives to, and negatives to both. This one, it folds it... They're a little looser fitting, but I guess it makes sense because some of the old Ultras um, have weird protrusions and, like, I think this one might... Yeah. has weird protrusions, so to fit those... Oh, it doesn't even fit this one. Um, maybe if I add what, like... Yeah, so it's kind of just to fit these sort of weird Ultra Bakugan, I suppose. Um, but then the other thing is, one thing that's a little unfortunate is it's a lot harder to get them out. Or like, it, it, you, don't, you can't just quickly, you know, pop one out. You have to open the whole thing. Um, and these don't come out accidentally either. Um, but one thing that's bad about the original clip, of course, is that anything from anything B2 kind of stresses it. It technically fits, but it, you can see it's sort of stressing it, and it's it's not great, and it's a lot tighter, and it's, yeah, it's just not good. Only B1s really fit in there well. Um, so that was a design flaw, and they didn't even, in the original series, they sold these up until New Vestroia. So, of course, New Vestroia had B2s, so they sold them. I specifically remember I got this with a, like, Nemesis or something from Nuvastroya. And so they didn't even really work right with those Bakugan that they came with. Like, this one right here is a B2, so that was unfortunate. But um, these, of course, work with any new Bakugan, probably. Um, just for comparison, let's see what happens when you put in B1s. So you can see how tiny B1s are. 
you can see being um, Pyrus Darkus, the clip is um, has this sort of gunmetal gray plastic base with a red top for like Pyrus and purple detail for Darkus, which is really nice. I like the purple and the red and the gray. It looks pretty nice, the color scheme. Um, so yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty cool product, but I don't necessarily think it's that practical. Um, the card storage is definitely not recommended. I wouldn't recommend you put your cards in here. You might damage them. Um, the storage of Bakugan is pretty nice. Um, it works as intended. So I've got really nothing to complain about besides put, don't put cards in here. Um, it seems to work well. The clip seems solid. Um, it's a nice storage device, but it's not the most space efficient storage device, obviously. But if you want to take three Bakugan on the go, it works well, stores cores. Um, so yeah. Now, on the subject of Garganoid X Webam, the Pyrus Darkus version, um, I don't really recommend him for competitive play. Um, maybe you could use this card, but I can't see it being really used. So yeah, overall that should be it. Um, Thanks for watching this review. Um, feel free to comment below on anything you would like me to review, old series or new, and I'll see if I can do that. Um, like and subscribe for more videos in the future. And yeah, that, that'll be it. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.